Hello YouTubers. Um, I just got a request like a couple minutes ago to show how to quickly edit a fight scene. Um, it's 11.21 p.m. so I'm just going to go through this quickly and hopefully Joseph Searle this helps you out and if not just drop a, question, uh, drop a comment down below and let me know what else I can help you with. So first of all I'd recommend you watch this um, film riot, the fight choreography of losses, and all all their all their videos are just amazing. I've learned a lot from watching their videos, so go check that video out. Around f five minutes fifty six, he explains the concept of deleting frames to make a fight team seem more fast paced. Bazami. Tip number two, cutting frames out. For almost every hit I do, I'll cut at least one frame out of when it supposedly hits that impact moment, which helps it feels faster and way more violent. For example, here it is normal. And then I'll take a frame out of the video at this point, and now it's pretty surprising how much this helps in some. Alright, so you get the point. Um uh, yeah, so it's just a consists of deleting a couple frames from that first initial impact and depending on how dragged out you want to make it look you just delete how many frames you want so I'm going to show you in After Effects as well as Premiere Pro quickly it's been a minute and a half so I'll quickly just go through this now so I just got some footage from WWE it's not very good footage but I couldn't find anything else I just thought of something fake uh, okay. good. sorry about the quality I just quickly got this off the internet like two seconds ago So I thought I might find you a quick little sample of a fake punch. <laughs> Straight away, I was like, hey, I'm going to need a fake punch. Let's go to WWE. No offense to all you lovers out there. So it looks something like... Alright, sorry about the audio. Someone does not know how to make videos. Um, Alright, so we'll quickly do this. And you want to just, oops, no, not on Premiere Pro anymore. So you just click this button up here, next frame, until you get that kind of impact right there. And then you want to, I can't even remember how to use this stuff anymore. Um, Alright, and then go Command Shift D. I'm sorry, I'm, this is probably not the greatest way to show you because I haven't used After Effects in quite a while. And then you want to move maybe just because this is bad quality, I'll move it two frames. And then Maybe if I just do this and then drag this over to cut it out and then move this back forward. So now, when we look at that again, if I turn off the audio, alright. Okay, so now we just got this. And it's not much of a difference, but when you're when you're going through so from there, it ends up down there. So it kind of makes that a bit quicker. Alright, so you get the point just I guess control command or control if you're on a PC. Control shift and D will split the layer in two. I can't. I don't even know the easier way. I'm sorry, guys. 
um, and then move a couple frames forward and delete or just like cut, cut down the thing and then move it back. If that makes sense. Um, so that's After Effects. We'll quickly go over to Premiere Pro, make a new project and call it Fights in Editing. And press cancel for now. And bring in your footage. And let's make a new comp. Make new project, new sequence, sorry. And if we delete this, bring it into here. I also want to bring it in again. To show you the difference. Alright, so we want to make this bigger by pulling up the mountains and come to Okay, so here uh, you're gonna click Command K or Control K if you're on a PC to cut at that point, and then you want to move two frames forward. Control K again. Um, right click and press Ripple Delete, which will just cut it out and then move that um, that next video forward. So and you can pair it out with you can see it's a bit a bit more you see the difference so this is without the frames taken out and this is with and it's not so you got the full motion there the whole slow motion that has a bit more quickness about it. Or if you really wanted to, you could take out a couple more frames just to show you what you can really do with this effect. And. Now that's a bit too far there. You can see it's a bit exaggerated. That just gives you a, a bit of a look into just you know, just cutting and moving the footage forward. And also another point about um, fight scenes, you try to make shots like in the video. Ryan goes about shooting the scenes with a good camera angle. Because the camera angle will really um, determine whether your shot looks decent or not. So make sure you test out different shots and see which one's most appropriate. And um, yeah, just muck around with seeing how many frames you should delete from each shot, each hit. And um, it should turn out pretty good. So hopefully this helps you out. If you've got any more requests or comments or questions, just post them down below. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya.